Sonic Frontiers is top to bottom the best Sonic game. Hey, usually I would say recency bias, but I mean, after beating Sonic Frontiers, it was a really fun game. So I don't know. What, you, what do y'all think? We are back with the Sonic Hot Takes. This time we're going to be looking at some Sonic Frontiers takes after the game has came out. There will be spoilers in this video. Chaos Island is the best island in the game. It presents many different environments in one and is pretty challenging to traverse. I also don't mind the 2D and actually found the platforming enjoyable. I personally don't agree with this. I don't think Chaos Island is the best island. I think Ares Island might be the best island. Either that or the last island. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I definitely don't think Chaos Island is as bad as people make it out to be. The 2D does kind of get annoying at bits but sometimes it's re it's really easy just to just jump out of it but it definitely does get annoying the 2d and then the, the random boost pads when you're trying to go to a certain area and the boost pads right there and it gets in your way i can kind of see that but at the same time I, I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be but i definitely do think aries island is the best island in the game sonic's frontiers model is the best in the series i like how detailed the spine textures are yeah i was looking as i was looking at the cutscenes and stuff I've really been paying attention to how his spines and how detailed like the textures are on the spines. It's actually pretty cool to see that. Um, best in the series though, I don't know if it's the best in the series. I do like Unleashed slash Generations model better. Sonic Team really has something going on if they take the Sonic Generations slash Unleashed model and give it the same textures as the Sonic Frontiers model has. That would be pretty cool. The cyberspace stages are pretty fun and while I do think other games handle the boost gameplay better, I think people are just unwilling to get used to the physics. Thus, people aren't really giving cyberspace a real chance. I don't know if people aren't giving cyberspace a real chance. There, there's already a lot of cyberspace stages in the game. So when you complete the game, you've already played through the whole game. And I feel like that's a fair chance. And if people don't like it, that's fine. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. But I definitely do think people are giving cyberspace a chance. But I do definitely agree that the cyberspace stages are really fun. They, they are really fun. I find myself going back to them, trying to get fast times. And I do like the challenge on them. Some of the times to get S ranks are super tight. So it's fun going back to them and trying to refine all of your movements and refine everything to get the fastest time possible the game is pretty good compared to the last three sonic games not including the classic games like mania or remix like codes ultimate but anyways this was a huge improvement compared to forces the controls take a bit of getting used to but otherwise no issues this is basically where i stand on the game in my opinion frontiers is way better than forces lost world and boom combined so this is basically where i stand on the game but amplified all right this next one says the open world feels really dull after you beat the game like sure you can explore everything but after that there's no reason to go back people bash the cyberspace but honestly i see it as the only replay value you aside from another playthrough after you beat the game it kind of becomes the meat and potatoes of the game now this one i kind of agree with because for some reason you can't replay the bosses or replay the challenges if you can replay the bosses and challenges then there, there would definitely be a lot to do in these islands but since they don't allow you to replay them for some reason it really does feel dull once you complete everything now I say kind of because there are a few things you can do you can run around you can do some tricks off the rails you can go back and fight more guardians and enemies but after a while doing that stuff over and over again gets really repetitive and i could definitely see it getting really dull there's nothing really much else to do in the islands second really needs to like fix that or work on that let us be able to replay the challenges or replay the boss fights i don't know why we're not able to do that all right this next one says sonic frontiers is already the best sonic game of all time say should have stayed dead it would have really kept me in the fields also it would have been better if there was more time of sonic being corrupted i do agree with this now sonic frontiers already being the best sonic game of all time i don't agree with i think sonic unleash is still king i'm not going to get into why there's there's i can go into a whole tangent sonic frontiers already being the best Sonic game don't necessarily agree with it's up there though sage should have stayed dead i'm here and there with that i don't really care that much you know it, it, you know sage is, has always been a computerized character so i mean there really wouldn't be a logical reason for a sage to stay dead when eggman could just bring her back but i could definitely see where you're coming from with that one and i kind of do think sonic should have stayed corrupted for a longer time it definitely would have been cool if you could play as the other characters to try to bring sonic back all right this next one says frontiers is a step in the right direction but the amount of simple features that are missing from this game is pretty concerning like why can't we replay the bosses or challenges yeah I, like i said earlier like they need to add that in and there is definitely a decent amount of simple things that you would you would think that they would have added in the game by now or would have been in the game by lunch that aren't in the game so i agree with this i would i wouldn't say i'm necessarily concerned about it but out of everything replaying the bosses and challenges should have been 100 percent in the game by lunch so i don't know why we can't do that hopefully there's an update that brings that to the game sonic frontiers is already being extremely overrated by fans the game is good but it's not top five at all i don't know about that what i'm trying to think what top what five games 
what five? I wish you listed out the games that you thought were better, because I don't, I can't think of five Sonic games that you probably would have potentially have over Sonic Frontiers. But that's just coming from my viewpoint. So I don't, I don't know. Sonic Frontiers for me is top five, so I, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't think I agree with this. All right, this next one says the whole scene where Sonic got corrupted really gave me no space vibes, where they immediately escape, miss gameplay opportunity. As I was playing the game, I was kind of thinking about that. Where in Sonic Forces, Sonic enters no space, they give us a level, and we think we're, we're about to have a full on level level in no space but then he ends up immediately leaving the no space in like two seconds and then the whole stage is just him in the city that cutscene gave me the same vibes because sonic enters or this realm we don't even know where he enters cyberspace or whatever and then he immediately gets restored and it's not really explained how sonic tails and knuckles were able to re-enter cyberspace there was wasn't really explained it was just immediate i don't know why they did that like that so it definitely did give me no space vibes they definitely could have had a gameplay they could have had a stage where sonic Sonic was stuck in cyberspace or they could have had a stage that had Sonic's friends finding a way to save Sonic. Y'all definitely have some pretty good taste today. If y'all want to watch more Sonic Frontiers content, here's a video right here where I attempt six Sonic Frontiers trick shots. Yeah, I think y'all enjoyed that right here. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one.